Alright, so this is a little bit of a different video. I had to switch up last minute, like, like literally in the last minute, I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to do my fast lane interview. So yeah, Crown Jewel is coming up in a couple of weeks, or like, not a couple, I think it's three weeks, I don't know, but yeah, I haven't done fast lane yet, which I barely realized, I don't know why, uh, but yeah, I barely realized that, and yeah, so how I usually do this, go over all the matches, uh, rank all of them. And get my overall thoughts on the whole ring at the end. So, let's start off. Number one. The first match I'm pretty sure was Judgment Day versus Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso. The most unlikely of tag teams. The tag team that I never thought would happen. But it happened. J main event Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes against the Judgment Day. Now, this match was your routine tag team match. It was just a lot better because it's Judgment Day and... Um, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso, they always cook every time they do those matches. And then uh, you had your obvious stuff, like Judgment Day interfering with the match, trying to interfere with the seven backfires so badly. Yeah, JD McDonough hits Damon Priest with the briefcase, and Cody Rhodes does... What's it called? Like, crossroads on the announce desk, and now they go back up. Finn Balor is a sitting duck, and yeah. I... Good ending, I guess. That was a pretty good match for, to start off. I'm going to give it a 4.2 out of 5. Pretty okay match to start off, I'm, pretty, I'm guessing. But yeah. So, match number 2, I'm thinking this was... Hmm. Yeah, it was match number 2. Was it? Yeah. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar versus the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. This was a 2v3 two, two handicap. So, And everybody knew, basically knew that Carlito was going to come out. So, yeah. Carlito did, did end up coming out, and L I LWO got the unlikely win. Yeah. There was this part from Corey Graves, which I am okay with, because it says, um... What's it called? He said, like, Dominic was right. Ray doesn't have a friend in the world. Which, that's not true. I mean, Santos was down. All the LWO was injured. Carlito comes back and completely destroys... The Street Profits, I really didn't think they were going to lose that. I, just, I thought they were going to win. The thing that I thought was going to happen was the Street Profits and Lashley win. Uh, Carlito gets pissed off, betrays LWO, turns him heel. And yeah, Rey Mysterio's left out. But I didn't. Well, Carlito's back long term, so let's see what happens here. I'm going to give that match a 3.5 out of 5. Did not expect that much. It was kind of short, too. It's a pay per view. It should not be like 10 minutes long. It should be at least 15. For, especially for a tag team match. A three on three, no, no, no doubt. So, yeah. Um, after that, we have the Women's Triple Threat Championship match with Io Sky, Charlotte Flair, and Oscar. Um, it was a pretty much good match. It was the, it was the same amount of excitement as uh, SummerSlam. Pretty amazing stuff. All three women had their own dominant moments. And then uh, Bailey comes in, interferes uh, right when... Charlotte's, I think it's called figure eight, when she's doing the figure eight. Asuka's tapping out like hell. And then Io, I think, she does her finishing move. Pins, Bailey gets the ref to, uh, Bailey gets the ref to know. The pin happens, and Io Sky retains the um, WWE Women's Championship. Pretty solid match, especially from Io Sky. I mean, I, I would love for her to have a little bit more to her reign. Uh, it's going to be her versus Charlotte Flair. On Friday for SmackDown, um, Io Sky has had a terrific reign so far. I love it. She's one of my favorite champions in WWE right now. Yeah, and then we got a segment from. Oh wait, okay, women's tag match. It's gonna be a three point nine out of five for me, uh, in my opinion. So yeah. next up you have is Pat McAfee's segment, which you gotta love Pat McAfee. He even did a reference to Stone Cold there. Um, yeah, Pat McAfee is. Really cool. And then introducing uh, LA Knight and John Cena in his first televised match in a while. Um, LA Knight and John Cena. This is John Cena's first match in September, but his first televised match in a while. I forgot what the last one it was. So, and versus the Bloodline, Jimmy Uso versus Solo Sokoa. Now, Paul Heyman's hair is full-on white. And now when Roman Reigns came back last week on SmackDown, it was kind of less white, less gray. I don't know. It was just weird. <laughs> <laughs> he turned old because the bloodline was so chaotic. So yeah, uh, this match was actually a little bit underwhelming in my opinion. Uh, I'm glad that Ellie Knight and John Cena had the win, but it was very underwhelming in my opinion. So I'm gonna give this. I don't know, like 2020. Um. Post for a tag team match. For a tag team match. Anymore him. Um. 
that match was a little bit underwhelming for me. I'm going to give it a 3.3 out of 5. It was, in my opinion, don't attack me for this. The worst match of the night. It, it's not, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of underwhelming to see that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And next up you have is the main event. Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura for a last man standing match. And the way it ended, it's gonna... It was a banger of a match. It was a hell of a match. Crazy ass stuff happening. The way it ended, though, I will always kind of hate the, how it ended. Oh my, it's my dog. He's being crazy. and He loves to scream and he's annoying. Um, th It delivered as a main event, but the way it ended was just kind of dumb. Um... Seth, I did not want him to win that. I already knew he was going to win. I just did not want him to win that one. Shinsuke, like, they should vary up the champions a little bit. A little bit more, because they always love to... Like, in the old days, there used to be, like, a lot of random people. Now it's just the same. And now it's just the popular ones as champion, like, Judgment Day. Um, Gunther, Gunther got po Gunther's been getting more popular. Io Sky has been an underrated champion. Rey Mysterio... Like, it's trying to diverse the championship a little bit more. Uh, for, I wish for the people on Raw that they diverse it. Well, that they diverse it. It's always Seth. I don't know why. Like, it's always the popular ones having it. I don't know what I'm saying. But, yeah, the way it ended. So, I'm going to give this match a 4.7 out of 5. The best of the night. I, it would have been 5 out of 5 if the match didn't end like that. Like, Shinsuke should have been standing out more. Or he should have at least got, got up by, like, 8. So next up you have is, who is, what is this? Okay, that's actually it. So I'm, I'm going to rank all of them. Uh, Seth vs. Shinsuke, number one, last man standing match. Um, number two, in my opinion, it's going to go to, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know, actually. Judgment Day? I don't know. For, for now, this is what I have. I'm, I'm going to have to make some edits in a little bit. For, for number two, I have is Judgment Day. Versus Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso. Number three, I have the women's triple threat. Number four, I have Rey Mysterio and Santos versus Bobby Lashley and Street Profits. And number five, I have oh. LA Knight and John Cena versus Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa. So let me know what you guys think. Fast lane overall, kind of an, a little bit underwhelming. There should have been at least two more matches. Well, it's not WrestleMania, but still. At least one or two more matches would have been cool for fast lane. I'm going to give it a three point. 9 out of 5. Uh, although, Conjo looks like they're cooking up a storm right now. It's already Drew versus, um, Drew versus, Rom Drew versus Seth for the, for the heavyweight championship. They're, they have, Drew, yeah, Drew versus Seth for the championship. Um, Elena versus Roman, most likely. They have Ray versus Logan. Sounds cool, I guess. Uh, women's five, fatal five way, which is pretty nice. And probably, I, I think John Cena is either going to be in a segment or in a fight. So, I don't know. That's going to be it for this one. Um, yeah. Chicago looks good. Fast lane uh, was pretty okay. So, I'm going uh, to end this right here. So, goodbye.